what do you feel has been some of the impact of your leadership and your change? You know, this culture change that, that, that you instituted, um, the metrics that you can attribute to your leadership. Mm. What are some of those things that you're happy about as, as ED of, yeah. <laughs> of APHRC? Uh, I think, as I've said, I was terrified that the institution will start getting a dip. Yeah. And none of that has happened. We are like going up. I think even the momentum is a little bit faster mm -hmm. than it was before. Mm. So we've managed to maintain our partners, mm. maintain our funders, mm. cultivate new relationships mm. and grow and grow. We've uh, improved our footsteps in different countries. Our policy impact is becoming more visible mm. and more deep, I think. So, I mean, I can see like really we didn't miss a step mm. <laughs> and to have yeah. a major transition in an organization and yeah. we did not miss a step mm. really in mm. our in our growth or our mm. impact mm. so that as i said mm. we could have dipped mm. we did not mm. so to maintain the momentum that's good but also to like sort of accelerate our mm. momentum mm. i think that's um mm. um and success while dealing but with issues like a pandemic exactly and, like a pandemic mm. uh, but then i think for me as a person, I feel a different kind of energy. Mm -hmm. When I when I'm in a staff meeting, mm. I feel a different kind of energy. Mm. There was always like some kind of undercurrent mm. that you couldn't put your finger on, mm. but there was like an undercurrent mm. and um, like some kind of resistance. Mm. People trying to resist, mm. people resisting, people mm. resisting. Mm. They were not like out there like mm. with placards, but you could feel like mm. uh, many times you're pushing against the wall mm. about certain things. Mm. And so I feel a different kind of energy. I feel like I have the most amazing mm. <laughs> colleagues in the world. Mm. I sometimes I'm like, oh my God, it actually worked. Mm. Like, just be nice. And it actually worked. Mm. It's, it surprises me. Mm. But as I've said, just go for it. I just went for it and said, let's see how this works. Mm. And I feel such like a reward mm. for for this choice that, uh, you know, mm. that I made. Mm. And COVID has been also eye-opening. Because um, I think you, you're sort of building on goodwill from people. People feel like they are hard, they are respected, mm. they are valued. And whatever policy we took for COVID was people-centered. We said we don't want any single person to fall sick. Mm. Like, even though it means, I don't know, cutting salaries, but you don't want anyone to be sick. Mm. And we didn't cut salaries. Mm. We didn't lay off people. Mm. We mm. kept everyone. Mm. So people feel like we're being put at the center mm. of the response mm. and the institution is not trying to squeeze people to for any other outcome. Yeah. And that had its own rewards. Yeah. Because as I've said, people pulled together, people took leave when they were asked to, mm. people worked from home, mm. people were disciplined. Mm. Uh, we got a decent financial, um, uh, financial statements last year. Mm. This year's statements might be outstanding. Mm. But because we've sort of learned how to do things. Mm. But I think people appreciated that they were put at the heart of mm. the COVID response, response yeah. and not work mm. and productivity. Mm. I was almost like, um, OK, if people don't produce, then we'll deal with it. But mm. now we're going to assume mm. that they will produce. Mm. But they must be safe mm. to begin with. Mm. So we closed on the 17th of March. Mm sat down in a meeting and mm. decided, okay, we're going to give everybody internet. Mm. Money to buy a bundle that is mm. maybe faster than mm. the one you have. Mm. And if we don't want you to come to the office, mm. work from home, mm. if you must, must, must come and you don't have a car, we shall pay for Uber. Mm. So you don't, you know, mm. expose yourself. Mm -hmm masks in the office, mm. you know, sanitizer, all this stuff. Mm. And, and a lot of things, and then we had uh, yeah, we have an employee assistant program. We put mm. in counseling services. We mm. do webinars. You mm. know, we we have check-ins. Mm. Really, I think people feeling like um, that was the most important thing for the organization mm. and not whether we are going to get a deficit mm. or not. Mm. I think that sort of um, energized people and right. the response has been amazing. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, mm. risk. Mm. but it's paid off. <laughs> That's good. That's good, especially given that, um, you know, not not every organization can say that that's, the, that's where <laughs> things have fallen into um, in that regard.